You will not believe how this massive 345 acre resort is heating water for your showers and for cooking in all the restaurants each and every day. Let's talk to Gonzalo, the maintenance engineer down here and see what he did and how he did it to bring his water heating system up to date and you're not gonna believe how much money they save each and every year. Stay till the end, cause this is gonna make it worth it. I'm standing down in the mechanical room. Now this is an area you're probably never gonna get to, but with my friend Gonzalo, he got us down here to show us what he did with Renai. This video is sponsored by Renai and we teamed up with him because of things like this. They are helping not just homeowners and plumbers and families change the way they get hot water, but major resorts. Gonzalo, man, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Well, thank you first of all for having us here. Will you tell everybody who you are and what you do here at the Omni? My name is Gonzalo Hernandez. I'm the director of engineering here at the resort. I oversee our facilities team, uh, which is a group of about 20 to 22 engineers. Uh, and I also oversee the resort grounds as well. There's beautiful flowers all over this place. And so I got an amazing team that does a good job with that as well. And it looks like you had some good help because you have designed a water heater system here that literally just blows my mind. When I walked in and saw how many heaters you have and you told me how much money you're saving, this is fantastic. Red I did an amazing job of designing the system and Eric Red and the Retrofit team uh, did a great job of executing the project, that's for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, the install is beautiful and I've done a lot of commercial work in my career. This just looks neat. What system did you have in place before Renai? We had two, uh, and I would say two and a half, uh, giant Brian boilers. And I say half because the third one was just a shell that was being used to store extra parts. Uh, and that's really, they were providing domestic hot water and hydronic hot water for our HVAC system. What is the biggest problem you had before the Renai units? Before the Renai units, we were experiencing hot water issues, like I said, almost daily. It became common to reimburse or recover. Guest recovery is a big deal for us. If, you're, if a guest is impacted in a negative way, we're gonna do our absolute best to make sure that they leave here feeling like they were taken care of. And if that means we had a comp a night, so at $400, $500 a night, and you're no longer comping these random nights once, twice, three, four, maybe five times a week or even more, uh, there's, there's a savings associated to that as well. So our guests expect hot water when they hit those faucet knobs, and it's happening now, where before, oh gosh, you know, it's like you almost had to light a candle and just hope, oh, I'm going to get hot water out of here today. Uh, but we're not experiencing that anymore. How difficult was it for you to make the decision to go from two massive boilers that you had to a tankless system? First saw Renai at our property in Barton Creek. Uh, where they were using the tankless system for one of their towers. That was the first time where Omni looked at it as a possible solution for other, ho other hotels and other resorts. Um, so we had it in place there. Um, it was running well, doing well. The maintenance, the reliability, uh, the, pretty much the hands-off approach uh, to Renai, the reliability, I say rely on Renai, I mean the reliability of it uh, was a big deal. And once we saw it working well at that tower in Barton Creek, that's when we started looking at it as other options for other properties. How many units are on this property? Uh, we have 607 units. Um, about a third, maybe 40% of them are, are fed off of this system that you're seeing here. The cost is spread out quite a bit, so we've got different smaller central plants throughout the resort. Uh, but about 40% of the rooms, including all of our restaurants, all of our kitchens are all fed off of the systems you see here. Okay, and you say pretty spread out, 345 acres. I mean, I'm from Texas. That's not a small property. And driving by, it's like, wait, we just passed an entrance. Oh, there's another one half a mile down the road. This is spread out. How far is it from here to the furthest place where you supply hot water? It's about a quarter of a mile from this room to the last room that gets hot water from this. Okay, that's gotta take a long time. How long does it take to get hot water from here to that last room? 
The last time I measured it was a little under 10 seconds since how long it took for you to get 120 plus degree water. No wait, 10 seconds to go a quarter of a mile. Correct. Man, if I could run that, I would be a world champion. <laughs> so mobility, we were looking walking in and squares with me, we were thinking about flying boilers over and around and in to get them in and out. How'd they get these units in? They wheeled them in the same ramp and uh, doors that we entered through. Guys, we, we walked through a little bitty walkway because that's what I was talking to Squirt about thinking, look, can you imagine trying to get the boiler in here? He's like, yeah, you're going to bring in either a helicopter or a SkyTrack. You're going to lift it and lower it. That's not required. Ease of installation is one of the greatest things about this. If you, if you had to, could you disconnect this and take off this one unit by yourself? Absolutely. So there's a lot of good benefits to this, but I love the mobility. You can literally have three of these on a rack, roll them in, it set, hang it up, hook it up, and you're good to go. Can you talk about the results you've seen since installing the Renai units? The savings from a BTU, from a therms, from a, from a cost perspective have been amazing. As I was preparing to go to a trade show in Atlanta to talk about it, I was crunching the numbers and I had to do the numbers multiple times because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Just to know that when you compare 2019 to 2022, which were very comparable from an occupancy perspective, and I know that this particular building is on its own gas meter. So these aren't just estimated numbers. These are, these are pretty close to real numbers just based on consumption and then cost per therm. So to save 120,000 therms in that first year, which is very comparable from an occupancy perspective, and at a cost per therm at the time of $1.11, that resulted in a savings of about $135,000. I can't even begin to imagine what that savings would be now, as in January 2023, here in Southern California, the cost per therm went up to $5.11 per therm. So these units behind me are very reliable. They're, they're pretty much hands off. On occasion, we will have a unit that'll go into an error code. And the only issue that we've experienced is that we had to clear up the, uh, the strainer, take that out, clean it up and put it back in. Some of our units are fed off of soft water, so they don't need the scaling. But the other units, you just scale them once a year and there's really nothing to do with them whatsoever. Renai, um, the uh, Eric and the Retrofit team have been amazing partners in this whole thing. Uh, and that's the reason I'm willing to do videos like this because the fact that they stand behind their product and then they get you as a consumer can also do the same thing and, and partner with them and get, get a product that is really just checking so many boxes off for you. It, it's just been an amazing experience to work with, with Renai and the Retrofit team. And remember, this video is sponsored by Renai. We teamed up with Renai, not just because of what they do for plumbers in the communities we're in, but what they do for our lives. The big resorts, the commercial buildings, the industrial, they can and do a little bit of everything and they're there to help you. That's why we teamed up with them. If you like this video, you definitely should check out the one where we talked about three myths debunked.